All the talk of the U.S. being on the brink of a recession has some New Yorkers already feeling the pinch. Because sometimes you think about, oh, I would love to go to the spa, but then you have some bills to pay or you have other things to do. So then you put off the, the good things that make you feel good for the things that you need. Many spa owners like Milena Yolino are seeing some customers less often. The owner of Downtime Spa says customers who used to book treatments every four to six weeks are now scheduling sessions up to two months apart. People are probably trying to stretch things out a little longer. You know, in the winter you go for a haircut a little less frequently. Uh, massage, people need it a lot now, but they're going to hold off. But the dollar definitely is affecting everything. Bruce Schoenberg lived through the last recession in the early 90s. This time, the owner of Oasis Day Spa is prepared for higher energy and supply costs. For us, we know what our goals are, what, what our expectations are, where we can spend money, where we need to tighten our budget. And so, you know, for Oasis Day Spa, we're lucky we're an established brand. Women in New York aren't the only ones tightening their belts when it comes to pampering themselves with facials and massages. Across the U.S., spa owners are feeling the pinch. Recently, in Las Vegas, there was a spa expo to teach owners how to maximize profits. Hannah Laurie Levy is the director of the Country's Day Spa Association. She regularly gives recession-proofing workshops. Whether it's Dallas or Houston or Chicago, I think we are all, you know, feeling the uh, slow economy. Wherever the spa might be, Levy suggests cutting treatment times in half, offering customers initiatives, and keeping in touch with clients. She believes the recession, as it was in the 90s, could be a blessing for the spa industry. They looked for somewhere to where they can get away without having to travel. So that's what really kicked off the day spa industry in the early 90s, because uh, people were looking to stay home but still get away. And uh, day spa is the perfect place to do that. Many spas will be part of National Spa Week in mid-April. Services will be offered for reduced prices. The special week is another attempt to make spa customers and owners feel good during the tough economic times. Vanita Singla for the New York City News Service.